I'm literally just getting the house from Ikea because I want to do a little setup so I don't have to look so regular when I record and I don't have to record in my bathroom. But anyway, real quick, um, I was in an Uber. Well, I requested an Uber, a, a regular Uber, not the pool, but the the one where you're in there by yourself. And um, the man, he was like, you know, I called him, I'm like, you know, if you got trunk space because I got some, I got some boxes or whatever. So he's like, all right, well, if they can fit, then... You know, we good to go. If not, then you got to request the XL. So I'm like, okay, no problem. So he gets there and he's in a big ass car. So I'm just assuming that everything can fit. Everything can fit actually. But, you know, he explained to me that he took somebody before and they had like six suitcases. And so that should have been like a Uber XL, whatever the case was. So at this point, I'm just like, okay, sir, I don't really care what you're saying to me right now. Like, I just need to get home. There's no other way I'm going to get home with this shit. So I got to get in your car regardless. Whatever. So I had to cancel the trip. Get charged five dollars and then re re request for him to pick me up in like an SUV. Um, long story short, I'm gonna dispute that five dollars cancellation charge because he like you gotta cancel it and request again. I don't wanna give him no hard time, so I let it go. And then when we was riding the car, he like, yeah, you know, this is like peanut pension, so I need like every dime I could get, blah blah. And I hear you and I understand you, but I'm going to try to get my $5 back. I was so pressed to go to Ikea this morning. Like, I literally woke up yesterday when I was at work. I was, it was kind of slow at work. So on my computer, I'm looking at Ikea. Wow. Okay. The siren is gone. Well, kind of. But anyway, I was so pressed to go to Ikea. Like, yesterday I was at my computer and I was just looking up shit. Because I'm like, I want a couch. I want a table. I want like a fur rug. And I want like a vase with some flowers. Like that was that was my setup in my mind. And so when I was kind of shit, man, shit was on sale. I looked in the college section and I found a couch. We're going to see what that looked like. I mean, I, I looked at it in the store. It's, it's small. But I think it would be fine for like my little setup in here. So we're going to see. I hope everything is fine. So it's literally like two hours later. I have no progress. The only progress that I do have is um, I put the arms together, I guess. Like a little armrest part. I don't know. I need two people to do this shit. It's hard to do it by myself. And um, I'm a little frustrated because I hate when my mind is set to do something by myself. And I just need the help. Like I literally need help. It's so annoying because I just want to do it right now. And I wanted to record this video like on the new setup and everything. But we shall see. And then I just disputed the um, the five dollar charge from Uber that I was saying that I was talking about, and they gave it back to me. But they gave it to me in a credit. I don't want credit because I feel like, well, I don't route Uber like that to be getting to be having a five dollar credit. Like, just get back my five dollars, like. But I'm, it's like a dilemma thing though because I gotta get an Uber later to go buy something else. So like. It's like, get $5 off your Uber ride. I should just be quiet and just stop complaining. Yeah, I should do that, but... I hate when they do that. Like, don't give me credit. Give me the shit back to my bank account. Like, that's how you took it. That's how I should get a return. It's like when you go in the store and you buy, like, with a card. And if it ain't Nordstrom anyway. If you buy it with a card and you try to get cash back when you return it, they're not going to let you. They're going to put that shit back on the card. So I feel like, well, if you took the money off my card, put it back on my card. That's the refund. So, um, this is my new setup. It's obviously not the same day that I tried to, like, do it, which you can see the clips right here. Um, but today we're going to talk about my favorite purchases of 2016, which I just picked two. Um, my favorite things to buy are bags and shoes, which I mentioned in my first video. Um, so let's just jump into it, whatever. So my first item is going to be from Gucci, because Gucci has been doing a thing for, like, the past two years. It's been like Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Gucci has been the shit, like, let's face it. So, I had the Gucci men's pouch. This is the box, I keep holding the boxes. The box is just dumb cute, like, I love it. Man, nice. I keep my boxes for most things that I get. Cause I try to do cute stuff, like, you can't even see, but yeah. I try to do, oh, you couldn't see it a little bit, but you know, little Louboutin box, little Louis box. You can't even see the Louis box, but yeah. Little Chanel box. Anyway, back to my bag. So this is the Gucci Colidio. I think that's how you pronounce the style name. Men's pouch. Um, the Colidio is basically the GG print with little lines throughout Colidio design. 
with like silver hardware and the hardware is branded with Gucci. I can't get it to focus, but whatever, I'll take a picture of it. Um, I paid about four to five hundred dollars, I think. Something along those lines, but it was a good purchase. I wear this bag all the time. Um, I put like my chapsticks and receipts, my card holder, um, shit cash, any little knickknack things that could fit in here that you could think possibly could fit in here, I put it in here to fill my bag, like honestly. Or you don't even really have to put nothing in here, which is another reason why this is my favorite purchase because it's so flat that with or without anything in here, it's gonna stay like this. Sometimes it look dumb when you fill it too much because then the depth starts to come out and then it just looks stupid. Like your bag is just, your little bag is just filled with all the stuff and you need a bigger bag. That's what it starts to look like. But this is one of my favorite purchases for sure. And before I put this away, because I'm just about to put it away, but my favorite feature of this bag is the fact that it comes with this detachable leather strap. This is my favorite part because I wear a lot of like different two tree bags that don't come with straps and I basically just have to hold them like this or whatever the case is. So with this strap, I could just like attach the strap to the zipper and then I can hold my bag like a wristlet. So this was a good purchase because it was kind of like a two on one for me because I got a strap and I got a bag. Whatever. My second favorite purchase of 2016 would have to be my precious Valentino sneakers. Like these things look so hip right now. But that's because I wore them the whole year. I even took them to the leather spot to get clean some more and leather spot did they thing. Like they had to redye them because I had them so discolored. I wore these damn sneakers. That's another thing. If you buy your stuff, wear it. Like, please wear your stuff. Don't buy stuff just for show. Wear your clothes. Shoes and bags. But these are my Valentino Rock Runner sneakers. Um, the Rock Runners, I think, are still gonna be one of Valentino's hit sneakers, like probably for like the next couple years. So I would recommend getting a pair of these. They mad comfortable. They, they remind me of like Nike sneakers or like whatever your favorite, um, what's the word? Whatever's your favorite sportswear that's kind of like, look like Nike or Puma or something like that. Your favorite sneakers from them, this is what they feel like. They, they comfortable, they don't hurt. These are not the luxury sneakers that you'd be like, oh, I can't wear them because they, like you literally could put these on and go to the gym. And in fact, in the beginning of 2016, I did sign up for Planet Fitness and I went to the one on 34th Street because I felt like, you know, that would be my motivation to go to the city, go to the gym, and then people at the gym are gonna be like in fashionable things and maybe I could just be motivated. So I will wear like, I got these tuxedo sweatpants. I wear my tuxedo sweatpants, like a, a white t-shirt and my Valentino sneakers. And I would just be feeling like, the hottest nigga in the gym. <laughs> but um, yeah, those are two, two of my favorite purchases of 2016. And um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing or like, to think about mentioning. Hmm. It's not. Gucci and Valentino were my favorite purchases this year. I mean, well last year. And I plan to get like some more shit this year. I kind of want another pair of rock runners just because I just explained how much I love them and I kind of persuaded myself to get another pair, so maybe, I don't know. I, I, I need to stop actually because I've got a habit of like loving stuff and then rebuying it in different colors and all that kind of stuff and it kind of is a waste of money because when you get the new color, you probably don't wear the old color as much and then you just like pile it up. And my whole thing is if I spend money on something, I want to wear it all the, not all the, yeah, I want to wear my shit all the time. I ain't even going, I ain't going to hold you. Like I literally wear a designer sneaker, designer bag with like whatever. I pay for it. I want to wear it. It's mine. I'm gonna wear it. Like, you know how some people feel like they buy stuff and it just costs too much money, so they don't want to like wear it to certain places and things like that. And I get it. Like, I remember um, I had a conversation with a few friends back a couple months ago, or whatever. We were talking about handbags and stuff, and we was like, oh, but if you have a Chanel bag, you shouldn't be on the bus. Or like on public transportation, period. And I just was like, if you got a Chanel bag, you need to wear it. So that's that. I mean, a lot of people are gonna disagree with me when it comes to that, or maybe you agree. I would prefer you agree, but you know, if you disagree, that's fine. I just, I'm the kind of person that if I spend my money, I'm gonna wear it. 
But yeah, shop Gucci Valentino, get the Rock Runners. Um, so this video is complete. My favorite two items of 2016 were my Gucci Calido bag and my Valentino Rock Runners. Let me see if I can get a pop in thumbnail. Okay, hopefully that's it. Subscribe, see y'all next time, and um, yeah, peace.